Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Michelle Iqbal and I am your science teacher of level 4. Today in this video we will discuss unit number 10 circuits and switches. Now take out your copies and start writing. Short question answer. Question number 1. What is electricity? Answer. Electricity is the form of energy that we use every day. Question number two, what are the different ways by which electricity can be produced? Answer, electricity can be produced by wind, water, the sun and animal manure. Question number three, how does electricity flow? Circuit is the path through which electricity flows. Question number four, what is the other name used for complete and incomplete circuit? Answer is complete circuit is also known as closed circuit and incomplete circuit is known as open circuit. Question number 5. What is the use of conductors? Answer. Conductors are used to carry current. And question number 6 is what is the use of insulator? Insulators are used for safety as electricity is dangerous. Now long question answer. What are battery powered appliances? The appliances which work with the battery are called battery powered appliances. Example, torch, clock, watch and a remote control car. Question number 2. Compare series and parallel circuit. Series circuit. In series circuit, bulbs become dim when you add more bulbs. And point number 2. The electrical energy in each bulb gets less when you add more bulbs. When you add more bulbs. And point number three, we can use same switch for more bulbs. And in parallel circuit, bulbs stay at the same brightness when add more bulbs. Point number two, the electrical energy is same when you add more bulbs. And point number three, we use separate switch for each bulb. Question number three, what will happen if you remove a bulb from a series circuit and a parallel circuit? Answer is, the current has only one path to flow along so if one bulb is removed the circuit breaks all the other bulbs stop working and in parallel circuit if you remove one bulb from parallel circuit the other will stay lit up because each path is a complete circuit choose the correct answer these exercises are on your book page number 95 Number 1. The materials which allow electricity to pass through them are called conductors. Option number B. Number 2. The materials that do not allow electricity to pass through them are called A. Insulators. Number 3. Which of the following is an example of insulator? A. Rubber. Number 4. Which of the following is an example of conductors? Correct option is A. Correct option is B. Copper. Which kind of circuit has two or more paths for the current to flow along? Option number B. Parallel circuit. And question number 6. Which of the following describes the flow of current in a series circuit? So correct option is C. The current has only one path to flow along. Now fill in the blanks. Number 1. Electricity that flows through a material is called wire. A complete path for electricity to flow is called a dash circuit. Number 3. If there is a gap or break in the circuit, it is called incomplete or we can say it is open circuit. Number 4. If there is no gap or break in the circuit, it is called complete or closed circuit. Number 5. The device that is used to turn an electrical appliance on or off is called a switch. Number 6. In a dash circuit, the appliances are connected in a line one after the other. So, option is series. In a dash circuit, the current flows through different branches or paths. In a parallel circuit, number 8. A substance that allows electricity to pass through them is called conductor. And number last is a substance that does not allow electricity to pass through them is called insulator. Okay, now your homework is draw color and label the diagram of series and parallel circuit. Thank you.